I'm Katrina and this is So in Terror and uh, this is the first time, uh, this year is the first time that I am participating in the Every Bit Counts Challenge and if you haven't heard about this, this was started by Three Rivers Homestead and she is like an expert in preserving things. So what the Every Bit what the Every Bit Counts Challenge is, is every day in August you preserve something. Somehow, whether that's refri you know, you're, you're putting in the refrigerator to use tomorrow um, to, to do something with it. You're putting in the freezer, you're freeze drying, you're canning, you're dehydrating, you're, um, you know, any of the other, you know, you're fermenting, any of the other preservation techniques. And the goal is we're all busy. I know I work full time. I don't have a whole lot of time. However, little tiny bits of time add up and you can preserve food. If you haven't experienced preserving food before, you can do small batches of things. You can do things step by step, like cutting up some zucchini and putting it in the freezer. That's saving something, right? You can have zucchini bread later. If you want to shred it up, put it in the, in the freezer. You can just pull that out anytime and have zucchini bread. If you want to can up some jelly. You don't have to do a huge batch. You can do a little batch at a time. Same thing with tomato sauce and all these other things. Now I don't have tomatoes ripe yet, but um, you're gonna see a variety of things. This week is a little freeze dryer heavy because uh, that's what we have going on and I already missed a day. Oops. However, you can join the challenge. It's not too late. You're about a weekend, so hopefully you're already preserving things. But here is um, what I've preserved in the last week. Enjoy! Alright, August 1st we have peach puree in the freeze dryer. This is the third load that we've done, but August 1st we are doing peach puree freeze dryer. Alright, we are on August 2nd and this is the Every Bit Counts Challenge. We are putting peach puree that we already pureed into the freezer it's in it's been in the refrigerator we're putting it into the freezer so that tomorrow when this is done uh we can put another load in so that is the plan here we go so my lighting's weird because we don't have great lighting in the garage but um this is peach puree you can see it's been in the refrigerator it has separated when you put stuff into the freeze dryer, if you wanted to, you could pour that off or pour off of this and then keep that as a juice. But um, we are going to actually shake it up carefully and mix that in so that we have a nice even amount of water so that it freeze dries evenly. All right, I'm gonna pour this on the pan. Oh, and make a mess. All right, we're cleaning up too, huh? Well, we're cleaning this chair anyway, I guess. Now, I really like these little corner doodads. They are great for stacking. All right, sorry it's dark, but into the freezer we go. Now putting it into the freezer and freezing it first is better because it saves on your electric bill. Your freezer is already cold, so it doesn't have to start from, from uh, room temperature. Put that in there, we'll go on to the next one. 3rd of August, not really preservation yet, but is in prep for preservation. Pick the rest of the peaches almost. This is August 5th. This first step in putting food up is sometimes butcher. So these guys are getting processed today. They'll be in ice water for a couple days to let rigor mortis happen, and then we will put them in the freezer. This is still on the 5th. We're putting another batch of peaches in. One more time. All right, this is August 6th, and we have peaches, peach pureed, uh, peaches coming out of the freeze dryer and they're going to be packaged up. Okay. 
and looks like that. Okay, we're talking about every bit counts. We're doing this one squash onto the harvest right tray. It's already after nine o'clock at night and I needed to accomplish this. And these seeds look like they're pretty hard, so we're just gonna scoop it out. And the chickens will like these. You can also cook them up. Stackers are outside, I'll have to get them later. I'm gonna put this in the freezer and I'll be ready when the freeze dryer is done. You got two trays. And there's that many left that I already harvested. August 7th, another squash. Slightly smaller. These seeds are small enough, they're not hard yet. Again, I'm gonna put the spacers on once I get over to the freezer. Here's a nice tender one. These are good fresh, but we're gonna have more fresh, so it's okay. I need a smaller one to fill up this tray. I was only planning on doing one tray, guys, but so what happens when the squashes take up more than one tray? All right, well, I was only gonna do one tray. It's getting late, so I think I'm gonna get the next tray up. <laughs> All right, five trays done into the freezer. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and gave you some ideas of how you can preserve your own food and put down in the comments what you've preserved this week. I'm curious to know and how you did it. All right, pass it along as every bit counts. Please like if you liked it, pass it along, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and have a wonderful preservation month.